Shabbat, Shabbat shalom, shalom everyone. everybody. Dear friends, as we are now in the Shabbat, the unique Shabbat that the, the whole world is not going to shul, the entire Jewish community are going to stay at home everywhere in the world. We thought of sharing with you a few ideas to lift up the spirit of everyone and still feel the importance of being together. I think it's also important to keep in mind that while there have been many times in history that shuls have had to be closed because of acts of hatred, uh, that this Shabbat, the shul is closed as an act of love to keep all of us safe and to protect all of us. But even though we're physically not together, spiritually we are even more united than before. There's a beautiful Hasidic story about a great rabbi who was very ill before Yom Kippur and his doctors ordered him to eat and not to fast on the holiest day of the year on Yom Kippur. So they sent the best Jewish doctor to tell him that this is now the rule for him and he, mustn't eat on, and he must eat on, on Yom Kippur. The doctor came to the, to the room and he saw the rabbi dancing around the room very, very happy. And then the doctor asked, why are you dancing? You are now about to be ordered to eat on Yom Kippur, not to fast on the holiest day of the year. And the rabbi explained simply, every time, every year, I fulfill the commandment to fast on Yom Kippur. This time, the commandment for me is to eat. So I do it wholeheartedly. I think this is the same as we feel, that this time, every time we encourage you to come to Shul, every time we're sending messages and asking for people to join our minyanim and to enjoy, join and enjoy our beautiful services. This time, we ask you to stay at home. This time, the mitzvah, the halacha, as rabbis around the world ruled for everyone not to go to shul and stay protected at home. So if we were at shul this Shabbat, we will take our two sifre Torah. The two last portions in the book of Shemot, Parashat Vayakelem, Parashat Vayakelem Pudei, starting with the mitzvah to congregate the entire assembly. Vayakel Moshe et kol adal bnei Israel, Moses assembled the entire assembly of the children of Israel and said to them, these are the things that Hashem commanded to do to them. And then the mitzvah to keep Shabbat. And at the end of Parashat Pekudei, as you all know, familiar with the famous saying, the Torah is finished, and then we declare, Chazak, Chazak, Venit Chazek. Be strong, be strong, and may we be strengthened. With the tune? Chazak, Chazak, Venit Chazek. And we thought, one Chazak, one be strong for each and one of us. We all need to be strengthened now. We, each and one of us are facing these difficulties, this incredible challenge that humanity, maybe never before faced in that scale. The second chazak is for us as a community that we stay strong even though we're not physically together. Venit chazak, perhaps for the entire world, in plural. This is now not just us as individual or us as a one community, but rather one big universe that is facing this incredible challenge. And, the, and for that, we have one cure, and it is emuna. Atzato emuna. Hashem's, the real advice is now to strengthen our emuna, our faith that everything will come out beautiful and right and please God with as much as possible for people to be protected. It's up to us to put in our effort to listen to what the authorities are saying and make sure that we make wise decisions. But the rest is in Hashem's hands. The last, the second book, the second scroll that we would have taken out uh, tomorrow would be Parashat HaChodesh. We're already preparing ourselves towards Pesach. Parashat HaChodesh is the mitzvah to take the lamb and put it inside the house. When the people of Israel are now preparing themselves towards the Exodus, but also protect themselves from the plague of the slave of the firstborn. And the Torah tells us, tell the Jewish people back then, 3,000 years ago, the blood shall be a sign for you upon the houses where you are. Now, the houses is the place for us to be protected, to stay at home, to stay protected. 
bring your sidur, your chumash, your kiddush cup, your chala, your Shabbat candles. Make it a very special one and know that you are not alone. Know that we all within in, in this together as one family, one community, one nation, one world. Wishing you all Shabbat Shalom and safe, safe distance, but very close socially, physically, maybe a little bit afar, but inside we are all 